Trevor Humphreys, and when I think of war, I think of many different things besides just people battling over a disagreeing conflict. And the definition of war is war is a conflict carried on by a force of arms or between nations or between parties within a nation. So it's warfare as by land, sea, or air. My three perspectives on war, or three big roles that I feel are in war, are family, nationalism, and religion. Families are severely affected when it comes to war. There are many parents that have to worry about their child's life every day, and there are children that mother or father died and have to live without one for the rest of their life because of war. Here in the top picture, this is a soldier who is returning from war, and him and his daughter are both crying because they haven't seen each other in a while. And in this picture on the right is of a mother and a daughter. Uh, her father died and her husband died, so they're both at the cemetery, and I'm sorry for him. My next one is nationalism. Nationalism is a devotion and loyalty towards one's country. On the top left is of Uncle Sam telling everyone to get involved, trying to take back America and get our independence. This was before the war with Britain. On the top right is pictures of fireworks and the Statue of Liberty. Every year, Americans celebrate the 4th of July to basically celebrate America's birthday, the day we became independent. The bottom left one is a bunch of countries' flags, nationalism, basically one's love towards their country and when a group of people share commonalities and they bond as one to make ideas and do things. In other countries like Germany and World War II, nationalism can be a negative thing. Hitler had his idea and he thought to take over the Jews would be a good thing and that they do not belong on this earth and not as equal as humans. Nazis agreed with him, but they blindly agreed with him because they weren't 100% sure of what he was doing. They didn't know he would be torturing completely and doing things like that. And five elements of nationalism, nationalism are religion, language, culture, history, and territory. When people share these, they become more involved with each other and start to have the same ideas and plans. My next one, my last one is religion. Religion to me is the main factor of war. I personally believe that religion causes most of wars and that religion to me is something that has no proof. It's just your belief and your faith. So when people fight, it's like, for example, the first picture where two plus two equals three and two plus two equals five, neither of them are correct, but there's no better way to settle it than to just fight each other and kill each other, and the winner takes all. Um, over here on the right are a few of the religions in the world, basically the biggest ones that all share different beliefs. To conclude, I chose family because I have lost loved ones due to war, and it really can destroy a family. I chose nationalism because I feel we Americans have so much pride for our country. We have the courage to fight for it and come together as one to be the best country. And finally, I chose religion because religion is something I am very interested in. There are so many beliefs with no facts, and these beliefs can cause conflict between nations. Thank you.